ventilation. The traditional way of venting a greenhouse is to go out in the morning and lift the roof vent, come back sometime during the day and adjust it and come back again later in the evening and close it. If you miss it one time, you can lose everything in the greenhouse because your greenhouse can cook. Let's say in the morning, you, for whatever reason, you forget to open the vents and the greenhouse goes to 130 degrees, and it can. Uh, so that we really like to automate it. It isn't very expensive to automate a greenhouse ventilation, either with a fan system or with a uh, thermostatic piston, or uh, we call them a solar-powered piston. This is a, a heavier duty model of a, of a thermal or solar piston. The uh, aluminum cylinder here in the middle has a wax that melts at about uh, 55 degrees. And as it melts, it expands. And as it expands, it drives this open. And as it cools, it, it contracts and allows the springs to pull this down. So it's, it's pretty, pretty stiff. The idea of these three springs is to hold on to the vent so when the wind blows, it doesn't rip the vent open. So it's, uh, you can feel how much tension there is in that. Yeah. yeah. There's a there's a adjustable thread here too, so you can adjust the starting temperature of the unit. Do you want to check it out? Okay. So there's uh, several versions of this. Do we? There's also that particular that particular unit's made in England. Uh, this unit is made in Denmark. Similar. And here's the power tube. So that's uh, again a mineralized wax. Um, so you attach, attach this to your greenhouse vent. You can actually use these on cold frames because it'll detach very easily. And uh, I set the power tube through the threaded adjustment here. And when you get this all hooked up, you've got an automatic device. Again, it's this uh, twist to adjust the temperature setting so you can set when it starts. And usually they're open after about 15, 20 degree temperature rise, they're wide open. The nice thing is that they gradually open and gradually close so they really monitor the temperature uh, thermally in the piston here. So that's the, uh, the new way of controlling the, the vents that you saw the roof vents in the greenhouses and that's the way to control those. And again, in a cold frame, you can put this on the cold frame lid to lift the cold frame lid and let it vent uh, so you don't have to do it manually. As you thread those in, the farther you thread the adjustment in, the, the sooner it will start to open. They all vary just a little bit, so you'll have to adjust them a little bit. So when we uh, have a smaller greenhouse, they work great. But if you get into a 12 by 16 greenhouse and you've got six roof vents uh, and you want to, you decide they're opening up too soon, well, you got to get up on the ladder and adjust all six of those. Well, we think maybe it's a better idea to put a fan system in that type of a greenhouse with a single thermostat. So here's your, here's your thermostat that would control a fan system. Just adjust the dial to whatever temperature you want in the greenhouse. This is your sensing coil, and that will uh, very quickly send the temperature into the switch here and turn your fan on or off. The exhaust fans are uh, shutter mounted so that when they're off, the shutter closes and keeps the warm air in the greenhouse. And then when the fan comes on, it just blows the shutter open. So this is a, a waterproof unit, so you don't have to worry about hosing it down. It comes either pre-wired like this, uh, where you can just plug your fan into it, or you can switch the wires in here and use this to run uh, an inexpensive heater. Uh, we'll talk about that later. But anyway, this is called a series plug, and the power goes directly through one side, the other side goes through the thermostat, so it requires the thermostat to close the circuit. Now, for we've talked about the fan, taking the warm air out of the greenhouse, but we have to have a way for the fresh air to come in and replace it. And if you don't want to go open the door and close the door every day, you'll want to have a shutter 
that will allow the, the fresh air to come in. Now these, this is the outside of the shutter and we put a motor on the inside that will attach to the tie rod here and when the thermostat calls for it, it pulls down on the tie rod and opens the shutter so the fresh air can come into the greenhouse. Usually these are mounted down low. They don't have to be down on the ground, but uh, at the opposite end of the greenhouse from the fan. So you can draw the air all the way through the greenhouse. Now we've got the, the formulas for how big a fan you need for a greenhouse. Uh, for a hobby greenhouse, our, our numbers are less than a commercial greenhouse. When you get into a, a larger structure, they'll design an air change uh, or design a fan system that'll completely change the air in the greenhouse in two minutes. Now it doesn't actually change the air in two minutes, but the specifications on the fan will say 2,800 or 5,800 cubic feet per minute and you've got a 5,000 cubic foot greenhouse. Uh, anyway, our numbers are based on experience. So if it calls uh, for a 500 cubic feet per minute, that's going to change the air in the greenhouse theoretically in about two, two minutes or so. And that's fast enough. If you want to, if you change the air in a minute, like the commercial designs are set up, you're bringing too much air through the greenhouse and you're going to dry your plants out. Uh, they'll transpire and uh, actually suck too much moisture out of the plants. So it may cool the greenhouse, but your plants are going to be too. So the commercial, let the commercial people do it their way and we'll do it our way. <laughs>